I want to ask you a plain and simple question. I, I've sat here and I've told you about being saved. Now you must be washed in the blood of Jesus Christ. If you're here today, nobody's going to come to you. Nobody's going to say one word to you. We're just going to pray for you. If you're here today and you say, Brother David, I don't know for sure that if I died this moment, that I'd go to heaven. Would you please pray for me? I don't know. If you're here, just raise your hand up. We're just going to pray for you. Just raise up your hand. Be honest with yourself. I see that hand. Hands all over the building. Put them back down. We appreciate it. We're going to pray for you. At church, we got some people here that's honest. People here that are honest with God. They don't know for certain that they're going to, if they died at this moment, they'd go to heaven. We need to pray. When we start the invitation, the pastor's already here. Uh, get my Bible. And what we'll do is we'll show you what the Bible says about being saved. My opinion means nothing. My opinion is worth it. I say you take my opinion and a dollar and get a coffee at McDonald's. But God's word is a supreme authority about being saved. And it's clear. You decide here if you're going to heaven or not. Either you're going to heaven or you're not. It's like a light switch. It's either on or it's off. And you can raise your hand. I'm praying for you. Nobody's going to come to you. If you want to step out and come down here, we'll show you what the Bible says. But you have to make that step. The work's been done. Jesus Christ went to that cross and suffered the most horrendous death that you can imagine. But he done it for you. He done it for me. But you have to make that step and come forward and apply it to your life. You have to do that. If you're here this morning, you say, Brother David, I know I'm saved, but I got situations in my life, whatever they may be, sickness, there may be this, there may be that. Would you please pray for me? I have lost loved ones. I want to see you get saved. Hands up. Just raise your hands up. We're just going to all over the building, as it should be. Everybody has. And okay, put them right down. Let me say this before we pray. You think about it. Everybody's got one individual in their, in their family, in their life. That you think, well, God can save them. But then you kind of doubt, but can he really? But don't give up. Because I'm that person. People didn't give up on me. I didn't get saved the first time God touched me. God had to deal with me. But I thank him that he didn't give up on me. So we'll be praying for you as well. Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of your son Jesus. And God, you see the hands being raised. Though it's several here this morning that don't have the assurance that they've been uh, going to go to heaven. And God, I just pray now that they'll not walk out that door. Help them to understand we are not guaranteed another moment that we decide right here that the blood is applied. And we must take advantage of the work that's already been done. So give them the courage to step out and come forward. Lord, that we can take the Bible and show them what the Bible says. And then we pray here as well for the people that raise their hands that's got all kinds of problems. God, so much going on in this world. So many things that's wrong. But Lord, I just thank you today that we can come to you with all our problems when we are your child. And you will help us. The problems still come, but we have the comfort that can only come from you. And I just thank you for that this morning. I thank you for the assurance of salvation. We ask you now, God, that you would absolutely take control here in this invitation. Give everybody the courage to do what they need to do. And especially those, Lord, that raise their hand and need salvation. Please, may they come forward and take advantage of that. And Lord, we'll give you all the honor and the glory. And it's in your name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Still keep your head bowed if you will. They're going to sing them a verse, of course, of the land will never grow old. And I'm going to get my Bible. I'm going to stand here in front. And I'm going to invite you to come. And, and if I can help you in any way, uh, settle that salvation question today. Don't, don't wait on it. And I trust you, you don't have the authority or you don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. I
first. Can you raise your hand? I'm here with the Bible. Don't let the devil defeat you. Don't walk out those doors and you think, I wish I had. March the 6th of last year, I sat down in the recliner. I thought that I had all the days in the world. But I went from sleep right into unconsciousness. And had I, and the Lord took me on then, I would have never had another opportunity to ask God to save me. So as they sing this one, I, I, I won't be good to my word. I'm not coming to you. But I'll be glad to show you what this blessed book says about being saved. So uh, I pray that you have the courage to step out and come forward. That beautiful we will be in the swing of heaven as we praise to the King to be turned. Is real man with love. 